Hi, Hussein is back. Today in this session, we are going to look into Tomcat. What is Tomcat? I will tell you about Tomcat, some references and minimum system requirements uh, that are required uh, for Tomcat. And so uh, let's go over. To, uh, let's go over about Tomcat. Tomcat serves static as well as dynamic content. So static content example is uh, HTML, JavaScript, CSS. These three contain, these three act as static content. Whereas dynamic content uh, is uh, using star, using JSP and servlets. So it is a JSP and servlet container. It is free and it does whereas it does not support Java EE6 container features such as EJB JPA out of the box. It is developed by Apache Software Foundation. It handles the life cycles of the related implementations, namely JSP and servlets. And also it supports expression language in short el expressions it supports uh, connection pooling and it responds to http protocol based on based on uh, http protocol based request and responses it is lighter uh, on memory footprint it takes about 60 to 70 megabytes while other j2e servers takes uh, hundreds of mbs uh, for example weblogic websphere jboss glassfish and so on here are some references and minimum system requirements are windows 7 i3 processor and at least 2 gb of ram we can download it from uh, tomcat apache.org so let's see the download here is the Apache Tomcat homepage. As you can see, which uh, there are a number of versions, but which version actually de it's decided on this matrix. So there is a servlet specification, JSP specification, and EL expression, EL uh, specification, and WebSocket. So these versions are supported in this Tomcat version. So suppose uh, if we see Apache 9 supports uh, uh, 4 JSP to be done and still it's not clear. So so mm, we can download 8.5.6 or 8. So basically 8 series. So it supports Java version. See, so it also needs Java uh, running on your machine. Let's verify the Java first. Go to the command prompt. Yeah, I have uh, 1.8.077. So that is 1.8. So, so it says, you know, this eight version of uh, Tomcat requires seven or later. So we can download uh, eight. Let's go to version eight. There are the um, 30 to bit windows and we have 32 bit uh, 64 uh, and 64 bit windows zip but then we can take uh, uh, this is windows installer service so what's the difference between these windows 32 bit and this windows 32 bit or 64 bit so this windows installer service if we do uh, we will get a system tray icon here. The controls will come here and we can start and stop Tomcat from here and administer. So in this case, I will take 32 bit Windows installer. So it is downloaded.
Now since it is downloaded, so I am going to run the TXE file. This is the EXE file. A budget I'm get 8.5.9.exe run. Um, this is Apache software. This is Apache software license uh, version number two, released in January 2004. So these are the terms and conditions. Just go over them, especially if you are going to use in commercial um, apps. Agree, and we will have these uh, manage uh, Tomcat manager documentation and start menu items. The start menu items. Uh, will come into the start menu of the windows documentation is a documentation it includes um, server documentation JSPs and uh, configuration documentation manager is uh, the web application um, UI interface uh, which you, you can uh, configure settings uh, and see what apps are installed uh, in the Tomcat instance so space required is 11.2 megabytes. Next. So these are the shutdown port and this is the connector port of HTTP. Uh, this is 8080 by default. And you can see these are the configuration options. So Windows service name is Tomcat 8. So when it's been appear, when it will appear in the system tray, it will show as Tomcat 8. And this is the administrator login. Uh, um, uh, these are optional though, though, so we don't need to have them. But uh, in commercial apps, definitely the web administrators configure it. So it is a required step there. Okay, it is asking the JVM path. So let me check. Where is, uh, let me check where is the Java. I have it here. So This is a home of JDK 1.8 on my machine. So specify that here. And this is not a GRE, but a full JDK. Next. Okay, here we need to specify where will this Tomcat instance go and sit. So let's specify that. You can install wherever you want uh, according to your development machine. Click in, next click install. So space required is still 11.2 megabytes. Install. So now it will say we have two options here, both are by default checked on an Apache Tomcat and show road B. Read me. So finish. Here the Tomcat 8.5 instance is starting and we can see the release notes here. These are the bundled APIs that comes with it. All right, so let's see the system tray. Here we can see the system tray icon. 
Tomcat 8.5, Tomcat 8. So this is the interface it has given. Log on and we have logging info that will logs of the Tomcat server will go and sit over here. And we have Java here. The one which we gave earlier, and it is set to these settings 128 megabytes of internal initial memory pool, and maximum memory pool is 256 megabytes. Startup. This is a class which starts to Tomcat, the main class of Java. This is a working path and shutdown information. So, let us see the home page. Hit local host and 8080 and hit enter. It's asking for the authentication. I did not give any authentication. Let's try login. Hmm, it's not accessing. We will see what to do. At this point of time, at this point of time, I did not set up the uh, web admin user ID and password. So I just pressed logged in, login, and then it says unauthorized. So I will try uh, with setting up the user ID and password and come back. Hi guys, yeah, so after I installed Tomcat uh, in the a little bit we earlier we have seen that Tomcat was not coming up. So it was asking for user ID and password. So basically what I did is a uh, small change. We need to go to uh, server.xml. It is located in Tomcat conf folder. Change the default port. So A2 8081 because 8080 is occupied by some other process. So also the second change is about Tomcat users XML, which is located again in Tomcat CONF folder. So change something like this appropriately according to your settings and change the password to yours. And after that in server.xml of course the i discussed about 8081 port we need we, which we need to set it in the connector so after that it responds so let me show you how the localhost 8081 shows up change the change the port to 8081 and enter there you go here it shows uh, the manager it uh, manager application so here it's about managing tomcat so there is a manager application here and we have server status we have server status manager app and host manager so let's go to manager app Okay, it's asking for the user ID and password. Enter login. So you see here we have Tomcat Web Application Manager. We have list of applications, but right now there are no list of applications. But then we have one default uh, manager application installed. So here it is. We have manager. We have docs and three applications are there which are installed by default, but these are not user applications. These are default installed from Tomcat and we cannot remove them. So it will be there always as it is the, the manager application is the way to interact with the Tomcat interface 
and it shows up other applications here if we install one so message is okay here and all these three instances are running right now so if you see the manager here uh, con application context is manager here so if you see here it is the same here localhost 8081 and slash manager so it's the same way here so here we have documentation so and this is the root of the tomcat so we can stop reload and deploy and restart again so when idle it expires the sessions so maximum session time of a user is 30 minutes if he is idle uh, for about 30 minutes then it will expire the session we have a deploy here section here so we can specify the context path which in this case for the manager application the context path is manager and we have xml configuration here and the var file because dot var files is the one which is ex it expects so here it is and we can directly install or upload a var file with this selection choose a file and deploy we have some diagnostic information here find leaks and we have connector ciphers and also we have servlet server information itself the version is so and so here jvm and uh, so you can see here 1.8 version and we have operating system is windows 7 somehow though it shows as os version 6.1 i am not sure what it is but then os architecture is x86 and computer name and we have the ip address is 192.168.0.88 so let us see what ip address it will show over here yes is our version 4 ip address is 192.168.0.88 so but it will be changing whenever i restart my system or whenever i disconnect from the internet so right now it is a dynamic ip address so it changes whenever i restart my pc or uh, or if i turned off the wireless uh, i mean internet router and start it again it changes so this is this keeps on changing thank you for watching my video please subscribe below if you like my video thank you so much